have you ever read or heard a story that really touches you? Today, I'm going to share a story which was uh, shared also uh, with me by a friend. And it really touched me and I thought that I should share it with you also. Okay. Hi, this is Salvation Placer Ang Tuaco or Doc Baby or Simply Baby. Welcome once again to this Connecting the Dots channel where I talk about stories, moments, insights, lessons, encounters that I call dots. And all these dots are connected to God. And if you are interested in dots like this, then please click subscribe and ring the bell so that you will be notified of new videos coming up. Thank you. So here is the story that touched me and I'm going to read it because I don't want you to miss a single word. Okay, here goes. A young laborer came to a restaurant one evening to have a meal. The owner engaged him in a conversation and found out that he was saving to bring his family to the city so that they could get a chance at a better life. He had an aged mother, a wife, and two young sons who he hoped to give a good education so that they could have a more decent life. He had just arrived the city and found some menial work at a scrap metal site down the road. It was going to be his only meal of the day and he could only spend a few cents. The owner was impressed with his hard work and diligence and his family values. He encouraged the laborer and dropped his meal for him. He took his order personally and told him that it would cost him 50 cents. Several years went by and the laborer stopped at the restaurant every ev evening to get his one meal of the day and chat with the restaurant owner who always encouraged him and asked him about his aged mother, his wife, and his young sons, and how his plans are going. Finally, the laborer came one evening with a happy smile on his face. He had bought a modest house in a good neighborhood with a good school for his boys, and he had just sent for his family to join him. The restaurant owner was very happy for him and, in, and congratulated him. The laborer then told him that he was in a mood to celebrate and he would be spending an entire $5 on his meal that evening. The restaurant owner told him it was well deserved and dropped up his meal and he went on his way home. When the laborer got home and opened his meal pack, he was shocked to see that it was the same type of food he had been having every day for the last six years. He was very disappointed because he had been looking forward to a feast to celebrate his big achievement. He certainly deserved something better after scrimping on his meals all those years. He was mad at the restaurant owner and felt robbed of his money and his celebration. He felt he had been cheated by his very good friend. He immediately went back to the restaurant to make his complaint. The restaurant owner 
had already left, and he met one of the staff with whom he was quite familiar. Say, John, I think you guys gave me the wrong meal pack today. You see, I've got the same type of meal every day for 50 cents, but today I am celebrating and decided to spend five whole dollars at your restaurant. But I was cheated and I just got the same meal as every other day. Well, sir, this is our most expensive meal and it cost five dollars. It suddenly dawned on the laborer that he was not he has not been cheated at all by his friend. In fact, the restaurant owner had been giving him their best meal, which cost five dollars for only fifty cents for six years. He felt very ashamed of himself for thinking that his good friend had cheated him. It's all of his misunderstanding then, he said, and turned to leave quickly to hide the tears in his eyes. One minute, sir, said the staff. My boss said you were going to come back and that I was to give you this bag. When the laborer opened the bag, he found all the 50 cents he had ever spent at the restaurant. Unable to hold back the tear now, he sat down on a bench and wept unashamedly. He had judged too quickly. He'd felt entitled and a little prideful because of his sense of arrival. He had repaid kindness with suspicion and anger. He had failed to give proper thanks where it was due. Why? because he had been unable to see or recognize the hand that was behind the sin helping him all this time friends sometimes because we don't yet have the car or the house and the fine things we fail to recognize the simple things that God gives us daily. And so we are ungrateful and unappreciative and even a little entitled when we go to Him to complain about the things we don't have. We are prideful of our little achievements when we have a few fine things or feel like we have arrived. But does God condemn us? Is He mad at us? Does He take back everything because of our foolishness? No. Just like the restaurant owner, even though he gives us of his best and always looks out for us to encourage us, he is there to pick us up when we stumble or fall, even when we don't see or appreciate his goodness and kindness to us. He never stops being gracious and kind to us or tires of hearing our complaining and griping. He opens his storehouse and gives us even more than we deserve 
when we are at our lowest. Today, this very moment, stop and consider God's goodness. And then you might want to say a prayer like this. God, I don't see your hand behind the sins, but since I'm still alive, I know you are there holding me up and helping me. And I just want to tell you, thank you. Friend, this story blessed you. Don't keep it to yourself. Share it with others so that they will be blessed too. Remember, God cares all the time in small things and in big things. Thank you for staying with me. If you like that story, then please click like and don't forget to share it with your friends. Leave a comment too. God bless you. I'll see you next time. Bye.